is Joyce here and today I'm going to show you how to help your child to solve the um, speed problem sum questions in 5 minutes. Now to solve the speed problem sum questions, we're going to use a DST method. Now on the board, we can see that there's this uh, triangle to represent the D, S and T, where D represents the distance, S represents the speed and T represents the time. Alright, so in order to find the speed, we got to take the distance divided by time and to find the time, we're going to take the distance divided by the speed and to find distance, we have to take speed to multiply by the time. Alright, so let's look at some of the examples to see how we should apply this formula in the questions. Now the first question, Alex rode a bike at 30 km per hour for two hours, what is the distance traveled? Now to find the distance, we are going to take the speed and multiply by the time. And hence, the speed given in the question is actually 30 km per hour. And the time that he has taken to ride the bike is two hours. So we have to take 30 times two, and that gets you to 60 km. So therefore, Alex has traveled 60 km. In our second question, a car took 5 hours to travel 400 km. So what is the speed? So to find the speed, we are going to take the distance and divide by the time. And since the distance is given as 400 km, we're going to take 400 divided by the time, which is 5 hours. So 400 divided by 5, that will get you to 80 km per hour. And therefore, the car's speed is 80 km per hour. Alright, and lastly, let's look at question 3 to see how we should find the time taken in, by applying the formula for this uh, distance speed time uh, question. Now, first of all, in question 3, find the time taken for a motorcycle to travel 100 km when its speed is 50 km per hour. Now, in order to find the time, we have to take the distance divided by the speed. And to take that, we're going to take the distance of 100 km and divide by the speed of 50 km per hour. And hence, the time taken for this uh, journey will be 100 divided by 50, and that gets you to 2 hours. Alright? Okay, so this is how the DST formula can be applied in solving the speed, time uh, and distance uh, problem sum and I hope that it's helpful to everyone. Thank you. So now we have come to the end of the series and I only shared these techniques because those things have been proven to work for my own and other students as well. I hope that by watching these videos, it has been a great investment of your time. But no matter how much time you spend on finding accelerated learning techniques, it can never be perfect because I'm sure there are many other ways out there that teachers, tutors or even parents have that are not yet discovered. If you are working on something similar, I welcome you to join us and let us know or make a video. After all, learning need not be boring. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Let's get your message out to the world. Thank you for watching. If you need more questions, do check it out on the link below.